Here's our viral problem of the day. We have 4 to the x plus 6 to the x equals 9 to the x. And we're supposed to solve for what x is over all real numbers. And so this is a tricky problem because we have an integer raised to our variable that we want to see, which is or that we want to solve for, which is never something you know that's very enjoyable in a problem. But we're gonna solve this by you know first getting rid of all of these ugly exponentials and replacing them with nice neat integers. So the easiest way to do that is to divide by one of what we have here, which is 4 to the x is a good, a good place to start. So if we divide all of them by 4 to the x, this helps us because 4 to the x divided by 4 to the x is 1, and that's an integer, which is really nice. And then we have 6 over 4 to the x, right? And we note that uh, 6 over 4 simplifies to 3 halves, so I'm going to go ahead and replace that right here comes 3 halves to the x is equal to 9 fourths to the x power. And that's what we've simplified to. Now, um, this doesn't look that much better because now we've introduced fractions into the equation. But um, these fractions go away really easily once you note that 3 halves squared is equal to 9 over 4. So this is something that's key to our problem here. Uh, 1 plus, uh, rewriting 3 halves here, 3 halves to the x power is equal to, now 9 over 4 equals to 3 halves squared, so I'm going to substitute that in, 3 halves. Now, uh, because it's squared, we can move that outside the parentheses using the power rule, and so this is equivalent to 3 halves to the 2x, right? And now we see a nicer equation with 1 and 1 and an integer, and we have two very similar looking terms and because they're so similar we can set 3 halves to the power of x equal to u a uh, new variable right and this will help make everything really pretty so 1 plus uh, 3 halves to the x is u so substituting that in is equal to u squared and now we just solve for u right u squared minus u minus 1 equals 0. All I did was move this stuff to the right hand side. And to solve for u, we just use the quadratic formula. So, right, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, with a, b, and c being the coefficients. So, solving gives us u equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now we have to be careful, we're not done yet. We just solved for u, but we wanted to solve for x, right? So that will be very easy once we use 3 halves to the x equals u. So to do this, all we do is set 3 halves to the x equal to what we solved for, which is 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. But we have to be careful, right? Because 3 halves to any power is never going to be negative. Whenever you raise 3 halves, even if it's negative, it'll still be a positive number. It'll just be like a fraction, right? So we know that it can only be a positive solution of u. So it's only 1 plus root 5 over 2, because 1 minus root 5 over 2 is negative. Now we just have to solve for x. So taking the natural log of both sides, we get x times the natural log of 3 halves is equal to the natural log of this thing, right? And all you have to do is divide the natural log of 3 halves to the other side, and you'll end up with this, which is the natural log of this mass on the right side, which is actually the golden ratio, right? 1 plus root 5 over 2, divided by the natural log of 3 halves. And we just plug that into our calculator, and we get that x is equal to 1.187. And that's the only real solution for which uh, 4 to the x plus 6 to the x is equal to 9 to the x.